see, these guys are successful and competitive and they're ready to keep on moving with life and waiting to when waiting to marry and waiting to marry inside your race is wasting time. That's what I hear from a lot of guys. It's like, well, wait a minute, Kev. I get myself together. I do everything I'm supposed to do. What am I supposed to do if 80% of my women aren't even fit? What am I supposed to do? If I've done everything I'm supposed to do and I've got myself on track and I'm ready to get I'm ready to get be serious in a relationship, move forward, build a family, have children, and move forward. What am I supposed to do? When I look to my race of women, 80% are even in, in shape. And of the and of the 20% that are, most of them are not looking for marriage until their late 20s. And then here comes Becky, Marisol, Mylene, Anu. What what do you get? What are you telling these guys to do? Have you seen all those stories? Have you seen all those stories of black men who were lynched, put in the electric chair, beaten to death by mobs? Black men thrown in jail because a white woman voluntarily had sex with him. White woman voluntarily had sex with him. Everybody in the town knew that the white woman voluntarily had sex with him. But when they found out that they were having sex, the white woman did what? Lied to the black man's face and said, you raped me. The black man said, what are you talking about? This was consensual. We've been having sex every week. How can I rape you every week? But the white woman having an obligation to protect the illusion of white racial purity, she lied and said the black man raped her. Everyone knows she lied and he was condemned to death by the same white woman he was having sex with. It ain't personal, it's business. Bullshit. That's what's wrong with you brothers dating these white women. You don't understand, that's personal. But when it comes to the maintenance, progression, proliferation, and domination of white power and privilege, she will sell your black ass down the drain. That same white woman who gave you those babies will sell your black ass down the drain. That same white woman who doing all that freaky deaky stuff with you behind closed doors will come out those closed doors and sell your ass down the drain. How many black athletes? Because I know a couple. I know a couple. How many black athletes y'all know about who had their college careers destroyed? Professional careers destroyed because they upset a white woman and she claimed that he raped or domestically abused her. Blew his mind. He never thought she could do anything like that. But she knows something you don't know. That whenever she decides to destroy your ass, she can snap her fingers and the entire bastion of white power will come down on your black dumb ass for failing to realize that even though she's sexing you, even though she's sleeping with you, even though she married to you, even though she's giving you babies, her first loyalty, her first love, her first commitment, her first obligation is to the maintenance, protection, and proliferation of white power and white privilege. Boom. Facts.